Okay, what is going on, Beardos? I am back. I'm gonna show you what is going on with Gears of War 4. You're gonna have to take my word for this because I don't know how to show you, but I just did a fresh install of the game on Windows 10. I'm on the latest drivers, and I just wanna show you how the problem is still ongoing and how I feel like, I don't even know if they're addressing it at all, actually. I don't know if they're trying to fix it. I'm gonna start a timer so that I can cut through this and I'll show you it. I'll keep you updated on it. I'm just gonna have it run. I just started the game, right? A stopwatch, sorry. So there you go. You can see it running two, three seconds. And I'm gonna leave that running. And when the game crashes, I'm gonna show you that number. So you can just, I'm trying to illustrate how often the game is crashing for me. I don't know if it's the same for everybody else, but I thought this would make for a little interesting video just to try, I'm just still trying to get like the word out that this is still a problem. I think it's on Reddit that it's still a problem. But I don't know. I do not know how far spread this is. I'm trying to I'm trying to come up in this community and I don't want to see this game die, especially on PC, because it's the first PC port that they've done. I mean, besides Gears 1, I think there was a PC port for that. But this is like an actual PC game. It's not a port. It doesn't feel like a port. It doesn't run like a port. Everybody knows this. And honestly, this is not helping the overall community like not die. I feel like the numbers are dwindling. And it's like the worst thing ever because this is actually, this still is my favorite Gears of War game, even with all of its flaws that it has and had. Um, but the Coalition has worked hard to fix gameplay, like, problems. They know there are problems with the games, guys. Like, we constantly go on Twitter and we constantly go on Reddit and we tell them that there's problems. And they're always responding. At least they're a responsive developer. Like, developer. You don't get that from everyone. You don't always get that from, like, Bungie with Destiny or, like, especially EA with FIFA, you don't always get like a quick response and at least they're always trying to fix the problems. I just want them to try to fix this one because I think it saves the PC community. I think a lot of people are having problems with this and I've gotten a lot of comments on videos that I've done previously about the crashing issues in this game. Um, so from here on, I don't know if, sometimes when the game crashes, it does actually like kill my whole computer so i'm gonna go ahead and save this recording right here i will be back to show you that number on the timer when it does crash okay so i just immediately started recording again i just wanted to save that before it crashed just in case my computer like absolutely just gets fucked and if it does like freeze my whole computer i'm gonna take a video of it on my cell phone just to show you what's going on last time it crashed it actually crashed in this screen right here loading into a quick match like a public uh or into a uh, snowball fight match I just think it's unacceptable that even on the latest, like, especially on the latest drivers, because you, all of us PC gamers, like, we play other games, obviously. This is not our main game. It's two years old. Like, it's not our main game. I play a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, a lot of PUBG, and look at that. There you go. It, it crashed already. So that was three minutes in. I'm going to let that run. I'm going to let that keep running, and I'm going to launch the game again, and I will, I think I can put a lap in. Yeah, okay, so around 3 minutes and 15 seconds, that was our first lap, that was the first crash. I will show you when the next one happens. Didn't even get into a game there, didn't get to play at all. Um, what can I say, like, I think the only solution is reverting drivers, but even then, it doesn't completely fix the problem. I just did a fresh install of the game, which means their game file might be messed up too. I cannot pinpoint the problem because... Uh, I did get, end up getting crashes on 382.33 after the game file update on like our 382.33 is my, that was my preferred driver before this most recent update. And it crashed after that. So I really can't pinpoint the problem of what's making it crash. I think it's a mixture of both the drivers from Nvidia. Actually, I don't wanna play that. I wanna play, oh wait, I didn't even select. I wanna play the special event. Cause you know, it's Gearsmas and we're supposed to be excited about that, but I can't play the game. So it's kind of frustrating to say the least. I just really hope they could fix it. I love this game. I really do. Like, I know I complain about it a lot, but it's only because I love it so much that I want them to fix it. And I want more people to play it. And I want it to be on PlayStation and I want so many things from this game, but Microsoft won't ever put it on PlayStation. So the community won't grow. I mean, they did put it on PC. That was a big step, but I feel like they've lost most of their player base on PC actually because of issues like this that don't even have to do with games. Gameplay. Like, I can't even get into the game to complain about the gameplay because I can't play the game. It's not even an issue of if the game is good or not. It's an issue of if the game can run or not. This is the only game on my PC that crashes like this. 
on the latest drivers on the latest game file game update it's a triple a title from microsoft subsidiary uh the coalition like a sub studio that's owned by microsoft you think they would get their game working on their own platform which is windows 10. oh there's crash number two it's been three minutes So I'm gonna lap right there. So yeah, I'm ha I got into a game, couldn't even play it. I'm gonna do it one more time. And you know what? Like, I can't even play the game. Like, I know I know how to revert drivers. Some people don't even know how to do that. And like, I made a tutorial video, but not everybody knows how to do that. Some people just want the game to work, even on PC, which is expected of this game. But I'm just saying, if we can get three crashes within the span of 10 minutes, I think that that's, that's just blatantly unacceptable. On the latest driver, just unbelievable to me. That Microsoft can't just go to NVIDIA and be like, yo, can you please pinpoint this problem and fix it? Like, they should have some sway in that, you would think. If it is NVIDIA's fault, I don't know if they even know what the problem is, but it's just bad. It's just a bad situation. Like, not everyone has the time or the willpower to go back and revert drivers, like, to 382, which is a solid driver for the most part. I think it still does crash. It crashed for me, anyway. Um, 382, right? And we're on 3, what, like, 88? I think we're on 388 dot something. And to have to revert back and then revert, and then, like, re-revert to the latest one to play the latest games at, you know, the frame rates that you want... Because there is definitely a boost, at least for me in Destiny 2, there is a boost from 382 to 388 because of the um, optimizations that they did at NVIDIA for that game. And like I said, I'm mostly a ranked and competitive player and this makes that completely unviable to do because you're just going to be like crashing out of the games and then having to rejoin over and over and over again. It just makes it completely unplayable and competitive, which is what I want to play. Oh, that's a bad shot. What? Am I this bad? Am I this bad? Oh, God, I'm bad. I don't really use boom shot that much. Oh. We did make it past the 10 minute mark without three crashes, just so everybody knows. If I can complete this game, that would be golden, but there's still an issue here. There's definitely still an issue here, I promise you. What a shot. <laughs> I swear the bots are better at this game mode than the real people are. It's like pinpoint accuracy of the boom shot. Cross map, easy. Oh, don't roll. Oh my, what a sh- Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my. Well, we managed to make it through a whole match. It's been 15 minutes. We did have two crashes in 15 minutes. I'm going to end the video there because it'll get quite long if I don't. But as you guys can see, like, there's definitely some crashing issues. If I played another match, chances are, like, from what I've observed, I would probably crash in the next match. And I can't go long enough without crashing to play, like, ranked and competitive games. So I'm just, I'm pleading, I'm begging somebody to please, like, take a look at this and take it seriously and try to fix it. I, I you, got, you guys said you were aware that it was crashing after update on startup, but I still think there's an issue there with the drivers. And if anybody sees this, please like share it if you can. Just get it out there more. I know it's already out there. People already know it's crashing, but it would be very helpful if we could just 
try to get the game working before the before it dies honestly because you know you can't really find games in a lot of these uh a lot of these different core modes at least i can't i mean sorry competitive i can't find any execution games and i haven't tried escalation in a while but i'm sure i could find one in that because that game mode is sick um warzone is probably dead too i don't know it just it's unfortunate but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into the problems that are still persisting on Gears of War 4. And I hope that you will share this video with somebody that cares because I want it to be out there and I want it to get fixed. Um, anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, a dislike if you didn't. And uh, remember, this is Beardo TV. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Never know your words, not making any sense, but I don't fucking care.